So welcome back, did you learn? I'm Mike with Clash Coffee. I'm excited to be here today. When we get coffee, for us, the journey from the farm continues here in our roastery at the sample roaster. This is where we experiment and play with each of the coffees. When we got the coffee this year, the Brazil, I was very excited because we use a lot of Brazil ourselves. It's a primary component for espresso, but rarely do we get one that has such unique flavors that feature by itself. When we cupped and tasted this from the sample roaster, we felt we had one. And for that reason, we're featuring the Bourbon Brazil for a single origin submittal to you this year. From the sample roaster, we bring it out of here. We roast all of our coffee in a Diedrich IR24. For the espresso, learning what we did in the sample machine, we brought it together here and we extended from first crack a little bit to make it a little bit longer. We find that brings the sweetness out that we look for in espresso. It still highlights the brightness and the flavor, and they all come together, which will show up in the cup afterwards. And this is the roast we look for. In the production roaster, it comes into the hands of the barista. And today I'm working with a Mazza Rover and a Nuova Simonelli. So when I look for an espresso, I want something that has not just great balance, but also great complexity. Something that when you take a drink, it makes you want to go back for more. And that's what I think this Brazil really provides. Now, as Mike mentioned, we use Brazil in all of our blends. It's one of our great components that we rely on. But again, what makes this Brazil so unique is that it's got all that complexity all on its own. And we had to actually pull it a little differently than I would typically pull most of our espressos in order to get that flavor out. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is for this espresso, I like to use 18 grams of coffee. Um, and you'll see I'm using a rover here, like I mentioned. It's not an automatic one. It's a manual. Okay, and I'm using a slightly slower pull. I'm actually look, only looking for about 28 grams when I'm finished with this, and I'm looking to get there in about 30 seconds. So what I find is by pulling this shot a little bit slower, it really enhances the sweetness. It brings out some of those great tangerine and citrus notes. Um, and one of my favorite parts about this espresso is it's got a beautiful lingering blackberry dark chocolate finish that I just can't get enough of. So one of the things that I like about this espresso, we've got a beautiful reddish hue in the crema, some great flecking there. Again, you look at it and you want to drink it. But what really makes espresso great is when you've got somebody to share it with. So cheers. We hope you enjoy this roast as much as we do. Again, great tangerine up front. Really sweet. Lingers pleasantly. Get that blackberry on the afternoon. Yeah, really unique. Enjoy.